Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. It is a Friday afternoon, it's a very dark Friday afternoon. Our heat wave is just being broken. As I started recording this, the first rumbles of thunder and the first drops of rain. I have a very frightened fluffy cat sitting under the tarot table and um, if you do hear the odd crack of thunder through this reading <laughs> it's uh, just a local storm hopefully and not the gods um, having having their say in this whole royal saga theme for the day is a certain alleged well speculated dodginess past shady behavior that might now be being exposed on the Montecito front. I have the Wandering Star Tarot on the table for this one because we have a Wandering Star, at least in his own mind, and that is the has-been and this ongoing visa saga I have read on it before. Now, of course, the DHS has asked for a two-week extension to produce the documentation for the visa application so that the judge and the case can look at it in private. And the thinking is, the speculation, the rumor, is that there is no paperwork. And a lot of people are now wondering whether the two week extension is uh, for certain quite elevated people to scramble to fix the mess that Harry made by not traveling on the right passport, by not applying for a visa, doing all the things that a normal person would have had to do in order to stay lawfully in a foreign country, prince or not. So that's what we're looking at today with the Wandering Star Tarot. I'm going to look at this because some people are speculating uh, apart from the fact that there may not be a visa application or a visa, some people are speculating that that might be one of the things that Barack Obama was discussing with Rishi Sunak when he visited the UK very recently on a private visit. And um, people are also speculating that it might have been one of the reasons why Harry scrambled to the UK to talk to Daddy and ask the King Pa to intercede on his behalf and sort the mess out. I don't think the Parkles or Harry at least in the beginning with this case thought it would get anywhere. They seem to think that they are above the law. Megan has just proved recently that she certainly is above the law and uh, Harry not so much. It's win some lose some and I always saw that with Harry and his flirtations with litigation, uh, mostly litigation that he started. Now he's on the receiving end of litigation and I think it has become a lot more problematic than he expected it to be. Um, doesn't seem to have much grasp of how the real world wo works. It probably didn't even occur to him that he needed such a thing as a visa or a passport or anything like that. Um, so let's remind you because we're dealing in, uh, with legal things today that this is just tarot and it's for fun and entertainment and it is all speculation in all my opinion and just energy that we read here and it's archetypal energy of course and the thunder has briefly gone quiet and the rain has gone quiet so I'm going to squeeze this reading out we're going to look at it Harry's situation is he in a panic we're going to look at Barack Obama might he have been asked to help and his feelings on the matter and the king whether the king has been asked by Harry to help and his feelings on the matter and final shuffle. How come from Harry's point of view, is Harry going to be saved or is he going to be possibly exposed? Hot topic in the US, election year, uh, undocumented aliens. Is Harry one and will he get away with it? That's our topic for the day for fun of course and entertainment so i'll explain the cards as we go through them the wandering star tarot and see what energy comes through for us today 
and our underlying energy is a nice nine sorry nine of swords that is the worry card the sleepless night oh no card um the opposite daisy card and it's in reverse so hoping as i'm reading it hoping that this little problem is going to go away and he doesn't have to be so worried anymore and of course there is a lot of speculation that problems of his own making have gone away before vegas went away for instance and other things that people speculate about also seem to have been cleaned up tidied up covered up that is the speculation and of course that uh is just uh um i was going to say undocumented i think undocumented is a <laughs> a very good word so there it is our underlying energy nine of swords in reverse hoping he's not going to have to worry about this for much longer let's see the situation that we are dealing with we're dealing with the knight of wands that's harry that is the prince who is a traveling man uh, who flew on that freedom flight from Canada to California as the borders were shutting down. They miraculously managed to escape from the prison that was that magnificent Russian-owned mansion uh, somewhere near Vancouver. And uh, they just got out in the nick of time on Tyler Perry's private jet. He provided the escape route for them or mechanism for them without ever having even met them and uh, so that is very much knight of wands someone traveling someone who is very spontaneous doesn't necessarily think things through very much someone who just acts on a whim quite hot-headed quite volatile possibly undocumented it certainly fits with the energy of the Knight of Wands. So let's ask, and this first column here has been energy in this one, documented or undocumented, what are we dealing with? We're dealing with temperance in reverse. Hmm, that tells me that somebody has uh, been too impatient to hang around and wait for paperwork. There is in the Markle family, there is a niece who is an immigration lawyer, as far as I can recall. I think Ashley, Samantha's daughter. I might be wrong. I don't mean to malign the girl, woman, whatever she is at this point in her life. Uh, I certainly don't mean to implicate her in any of this. But the temperance card is about balance, moderation, um, uh, harmony, being patient. Uh, it's the angelic card. And when it's in the reverse, the temperance card becomes the devil, becomes intemperate, impatient, angry, chaotic. And so I think, and also would listen to the whisperings, don't worry about it, let's just go. We can't spend uh, lockdown on this island in, in, in Canada when I have all those deals lined up and everything's waiting for us to go. And, um, yeah, my sense of this energy of the temperance card in reverse is that there was impatience. Um, there was some uh, jumping the gun, not doing things correctly in the right order and uh, bringing chaos into the equation. So I think my personal opinion is that he did not um, do all the things that he was supposed to do or that a normal person would have done. He couldn't be bothered and everything rush, rush, rush. And yeah, that for me is temperance in reverse. It's pretty obvious to me from an energy point of view that the paperwork has not been done. That's my opinion. So is he in a panic? We've already got the nine of swords here. So what else does universe want to tell us about this situation? From Harry's point of view now, two of cups in reverse. Ooh, it might have caused some marital strife, this. Because Two of Cups is about the happy couple, the two little lovebirds, and they're in reverse, falling out, separating, uh, not, no longer so enthralled or enchanted with each other. And it might be, and I'm speculating wildly here, as I sometimes do on this channel for fun and entertainment, it might be 
that the whispering on the shoulder came from the darling wife, who cares, you're a prince, uh, uh, daddy pa, uh, pa can make it all go away if necessary, we're friends with the Bidens, the Obamas, the Clintons, Oprah, we have all this power and influence, you don't need a visa, you don't need a passport, who cares if you are documented or not. That is coming through in this reading for me as a reader. So I have to say for legal reasons, again, there is a disclaimer and this is my opinion and please read the disclaimer and form your own opinions about this. And uh, I'm getting the sense that this was all in haste. It wasn't intentionally illegal. If it was done or not done, more to the point, it was done or not done because the rush was on to get into America before the borders closed on that lovely private jet sent by Godfather. Um, I was going to say something rude. I won't, non-PC. So let's move on. Let's move on now to... President Obama, who was visiting Prime Minister Sunak in the UK very recently, and people wondered what that was all about. And now there is speculation, there are rumours that one of the topics under discussion might have been this uh, awkward situation with a royal prince who is now stuck in the United States, possibly without the right paperwork. And there is a judge who is saying, I want to see the paperwork. Uh, topic of discussion or not and we have the oh, I can't read it upside down it's just the mother star and it, it's a uh, hmm it's an extra it's an extra extra in this tarot deck that's why I couldn't read it I'm thinking what the mother the star I forgot that this tarot deck has extra cards just to make my life extra difficult reading for you here extra extra um it's got yes no cards it's got a yes as you can see very clearly I asked is this was this a topic of discussion it's got a yes but the yes is in reverse. Now I have to tell you that there is also a no. The next card is no, it's called the creator. Um, so this, if we're asking a yes, no um, uh, question, normally it would be a yes, but the card has come out in the reverse. I'm gonna read this because it's up to me as a reader how I handle the situation on the fly here. And I'm going to read that yes in the reverse as a secret yes. That behind the scenes, unbeknownst to us, this was being discussed. It's one of the way that I read cards in the reverse. Sometimes, not always. Um, cards in the reverse, but usually opposite energy or extreme energy, sometimes delayed activation of the energy. So future, it will happen in future. Sometimes uh, secret. I get that kind of energy in these royal readings in particular. Something that's going on behind the scenes that we are not aware of or we're not supposed to know about. So that's how I'm going to read that card. The Mother Star and the Yes, but be very much quietly behind closed doors never going to be documented officially it's a private visit i'm sure when there are public visits there are records and minutes and this was discussed and they're signed off and those documents will appear in libraries presidential libraries and whatever else is uh, for the sake of posterity this one would be off the record undocumented it's funny how often that word is coming up in this reading my opinion just my opinion my speculation how does the president feel about this whole situation just generally what are his thoughts if we dare to ask a wheel of fortune wow uh gambling that's uh taking a chance and the chance is probably going to pay off because of course he's a prince and he's never held accountable for anything that he does so my sense of this is that this has been a gamble and it's going to work out okay in the end happy ending gamble that turns out well 
the star fortune is going to smile on our wandering star on the knight of wands over there and he's going to get away with it so he's not being judged it's not oh what a terrible person it's more of oh well you know uh, did something risky and it's going to work out fine I'm not getting the sense in here that, you know, he was trying to creep across the border. <laughs> not like that. I don't get intentional wrongdoing here. I get recklessness. I get haste and uh, it, those laws don't apply to me. I wonder if laws will ever apply to him. We'll have to look at that one day and uh, ask a very serious question that. Um, of course, the King Henry VIII energy always comes through for me when I do readings on Harry and this kind of situation arises. Don't get on with the church. Oh, well, I'll just make my own church and uh, start it all again and mold it in my image, basically. That kind of energy coming through very powerfully here uh, in this reading. So let's look at the poor old king who's got his own troubles and doesn't look very well at the moment. He's still appearing in public. He's still doing as much as he can. But yeah, he's, he's looking a bit, a bit uh, pasty in my opinion. Um, don't want to spark panic uh, by saying that. It's just obviously he's going through some quite um, uncomfortable treatment, shall we just say, for his cancer. So the king, uh, has he been approached and begged, dear pa, please sort this mess out for me? And uh, we have the five of pentacles in reverse. Yes, again, I'm getting a, a, a yes that I have to read into because the five of pentacles is the outcast and exile card. Somebody who's shut out of the, the lovely warm interior that's depicted in through this window. And so that's somebody who could be shut out, who could be deported even, who could find himself a stateless person um, and having to sleep on airport, uh, those plastic chairs in airports. I remember saying that before in a reading on has been and this visa situation uh, that he might end up like that poor fellow. I think he was in Paris, I Iranian man who ended up living at um, Charles de Gaulle airport for God knows how long. Was it Charles de Gaulle? I don't know. Can't remember. But I think they made a movie about him. Uh, the poor man. Five of Pentacles. This is, has been on a plastic seat at an airport. Um, clutching his teddy. Doesn't want to be that. Of course, he wants to be allowed back in. Wants to be back where it's warm and fuzzy and everybody loves him and he's welcome. And the passport is stamped with the right things. Or even there is actually a passport. So I suspect that father might have been asked for some help. The king. Uh, how does the king feel about this situation generally? And uh, we got the Four of Cups. It's that sort of, oh no, energy that always comes with the Four of Cups because the Four of Cups is uh, being rejected, somebody rejecting your help, the outstretched hand, the offer of love, the offer of help, of loyalty, of compassion, of here, here, this will lift you, this will help you. No. No, it can't be bothered when the card is upright. And I'm sure that when the Parkles did their, their uh, escape from the cruel royal family, uh, all kinds of help w was offered. And it's documented, there's that word again, um, the Queen tried very hard to get security for them and was turned down by the Home Office in the UK. Uh, father paid for them. I don't know how many million pounds, despite the fact that they went on Oprah and told the whole world that he cut them off brutally and cruelly and left them destitute. No, he didn't. And a lot of speculation, he might have stumped up the cash for the deposit for Mudslide Mansion and uh, kept them afloat. Lots of speculation that through back channels, he is still keeping them afloat. I've read on that and it sort of says no. Um, speculation about all kinds of things that might be ongoing still in terms of keeping the Parkles afloat. That is Four of Cups in reverse. They rejected those offers of help and took them through back channels and then bit the hand with that was feeding them. Here it is again because the card is in reverse. Here they come again. Help. Having rejected probably very good advice. The royal family would know about things like mortgages and visas and stuff like that. Things, bank accounts, um, things that the has-been has never had to trouble himself with. Well, he didn't have to trouble himself with until he met herself. 
the wonderful Meghan Markle. And uh, so now help that, that hand that I rejected or bit, uh, please send it again. And the king sees this. He knows. And here comes the rain as I say that. Now let's wrap this reading up. Outcome for the has been saved or exposed. Saved or exposed. Ooh. Might not go his way with the magician because the magician is the fix. And my working title for this is, is the fix in. That would be the magician. I've got two ways of reading this. My first impulse is it's not going to work out. Whatever uh, a sleight of hand is going on behind the scenes to try and fix this or create documents where there weren't any, somebody having to hack into a computer system, I'm allowing my imagination to run riot here. I'm not saying for one second that this is what's happening. But if this were a movie, for instance, this would be happening. They would be getting hackers involved and hack into the DHS system and put those files in there and, uh, you know, backdate them and do all the stuff. That's magician in reverse. Magician in reverse tells me dominant energy, he's not going to get away with it. Not going to get away with it. There is a bit of same energy as I was reading with some other star card in reverse that maybe this will be pulled off, this magic trick will be pulled off, the fix will be in, but in such a secret way that we never find out. We can speculate about it, but we will never know because it's undocumented. That word again. The magician is about having all those skills and all those attributes and all those powers to manifest and magic things and manipulate reality. But it's in reverse. So the need to get out of this worry situation, the Nine of Swords in reverse, sitting under all of this, it might be one way of reading this reversal card is that extra, 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 extra worry. And uh, I think, in my opinion, it might, um, it might do him some good to realize that the normal rules apply when you leave the comfort and shelter of the royal family and you take yourself away so that you can snipe at them from far, far away and think that you can get away with it. Strange thing, karma. It does have a way of calling. That is the reading and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.